There are a number of ways to embed SunTouch mats in a masonry floor. Let's look at five options. In all of these cases, we'll be using a 3 8 inch notched trowel. You'll need as much as 50% more thinset for a radiant floor than for a cold floor, so plan accordingly. First, SunTouch can be installed in masonry thinset in a one-step method. Check to see that your mat is securely fastened to the subfloor. Apply thinset and then use the flat side of your trowel to work the mortar into the mat. Then reverse the trowel to comb the thinset to a 1 quarter inch minimum uniform depth above the subfloor. When you come to an area where there is no sun touch mat, hold the trowel at a steeper angle or use the wires to provide a guide to apply a thinset layer. Comb the thinset in straight lines and then apply a covering of tile or stone or other hard surface. Make sure the tile is well bonded to the mortar below. Some installers prefer a two-step method. In this case, use the flat side of the trowel to apply a skim coat of thinset over the top of the mat and areas without mat. Let this layer dry overnight to form a surface you can work on later. Use a 3 8 inch square notched trowel to comb another layer of thinset over the embedded wire. Use straight lines when you comb the thinset. Apply a finished floor covering as you would normally. Make sure the tile is well bonded to the mortar below. Your third option is the back butter, and it works best in small areas. Use the flat edge of your trowel to work thinset into the mat. Use the notch side of the trowel to back butter the tile. Set it in place and fully adhere it to the surface below. Your fourth option is the self-leveled floor. Search out and seal every single crack or gap with a patch mixture or with caulk. Make sure your mat is secure. Mix bags of a quality self-leveling masonry compound according to the manufacturer's instructions. Pour on enough compound to provide a 1 8 to 1 quarter inch minimum cover over the top of the heating wires. You can use a roller or trowel to give a rough finish to the surface. After the floor has cured overnight, check for high spots and remove them. You can put down thinset and lay tile, or use many other kinds of floor coverings over self-leveled mortar. Your fifth and final option is the mortar first method. In this case, you've already laid out your mat to make sure it fits the area you want to warm. Roll the mat back out of the way. Using the flat edge of your trowel, apply thinset mortar to the prepared floor starting at the control location. Spread the mortar to at least a quarter inch depth in a small area. Roll the mat back into the mortar and apply pressure with your trowel to bring the thinset up between the gaps in the orange weave. Run your trowel at a diagonal across the surface of the mat to provide a rough finish. Roll out another section of mat and repeat this process. The next day, use a 3 8 inch square notched trowel to comb another layer of thinset over the embedded wire. Apply a finished floor covering as you would normally. Make sure the tile is well bonded to the mortar below. Some installers lay out the mat and then use small amounts of quick drying thinset applied with the flat side of the trowel to hold down the corners and center of the mat. This works well over concrete surfaces. After an hour or so, you'll be ready to apply a thinset cover. Don't snag or cut the blue heating wire with your trowel. If you've placed the mat with the blue wire on top, this is more likely to happen. Don't clean your trowel by banging the sharp edge on the mat or power lead. For any option you choose, periodically check the resistance value of your white and black wires with your ohm meter. If your readings indicate the wrong resistance value, try to find where the wire might be damaged. Then clean away the mortar on both sides of the cut. Call toll-free 888-432-8932 before you do anything else.